now we will be seeing method overloading so method overloading is a very important concept in inheritance in the previous video we have just inherited the class properties and just call the class but now we will be including we will be inheriting from the class and we will be modifying the functions which is inside the main class so how to do that we will see so for that let us quickly write a class constructor class setting the data and to print the data we are now using the str special class from format and set so suppose this is our main class now let us create one more class for the teacher class teacher and inside the brackets we inherit that now we will be reloading the method so now we will be giving the same name and adding some functionalities to the method so that whenever we create an object it will call this method with some more functionalities age and now we will give subject to the teacher and first we will include the properties from the main class and then set the data for the subject then one more function we will change this function also return from the main class you get the name and the age and from this class you add the subject also from the format self dot subject so now let us first run it and understand it so now let us create a object called t1 for a teacher and inside let us give teacher name age and the subject is let us say he teaches science now if we press enter and now we are using the str special function now we will be printing using the t1 when we press it see here mark 25 science three are printed this mark and age are getting from the our main class and this science we are getting from our present class so this is the best advantage of the inheritance we are overloading the method now let me copy this and we, we, we let us create one more class control v this time you will be creating a class for a student like this we can inherit and student contains let us say loan first this will be same and we will be loan 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 this is also loan that's it now let us call the student s1 is equal to student and inside that we can write anything comma and give the loan as 9000 now if we want to print s1 so here we haven't changed the string that's why it is showing subject but it is loan so this is how we can inherit any number of classes from the main class hope you understood the concept of inheritance keep practicing meet you in the next video